Third race, Phillies and drivers enter the stretch. It's the championship final of the Celia's Council Series. They're off and trotting, and a great even-looking start. Here comes Little Devil Dance out to try to be the first leader, but she's off stride, trying to leave a little too fast. Muscle therapy, Armbro Affair now, firing up on the extreme outside. Zabumafu pushes through to be third, first time under the line. Sarah's crown taken in from fourth position, and Malcyon will be used into line from fifth. Cinnabar Hanover is taken in from sixth. Devilish Yankee is floating up seventh on the outside. That's Decadent Pagan back there in eighth. The ninth one is Conquetta, and Little Devil Dance had the gate break and went out of contention early. The opening quarter in 28 and two-fifths. Rod Allen put 10 to one shot. Muscle therapy directly on the lead, but here comes seven to five co-favorite or second choice Umbro Affair out from second. She's taking the lead from Muscle Therapy on the way to the half. Then Melcion now is asked to hit her best stride and go on at Umbro Affair. Should be a throwing back half here. Moving to the outside from second over was Devilish Yankee. Zabumafu back to fifth. Decadent Pagan sixth on the outside. On the move from seventh went Conquetta ahead of Sarah's crown. Ninth on the outside, Cinnabar Hanover. And out of it early was Little Devil Dance. Half a mile in 59 seconds flat. And these two fillies trot together in locks step side by each just matching strides a beautiful sight that is on the final turn Melcion and Armbro Affair great gated fillies here Armbro Affair back on at the inside for a scant lead at the head of the stretch Devilish Yankee comes on on the outside from third muscle therapy has made a final turn break decadent pagan on the outside spotting it up from fourth turning for home Conquetta showed up in fifth then it's back to Zabumafu Sarah's crown Cinnabar Hanover and out of an early little devil dance they pass three quarters in 128 and one, nothing settled through the stretch. Armbro Affair, Malcyon at the wheel, but could never get past yet. Armbro Affair, and Steve Condren chases her to the finish. That's Armbro Affair going to fend off a dead game Malcyon to win the Celia's Council final. Decadent Pagan looking for third between Phillies. Devilish Yankee was fourth. Armbro Affair, an outstanding race in 157 and three. third race winner from Mohawk to capture the Celia's Council Series Championship. Garland Lobel, three-year-old brown filly from Chip Tees, owned by CSX, Bob McIntosh Stables, trained by Bob McIntosh, and driven to victory by Steve Condren to remain undefeated lifetime and sweep the 2003 Celia's Council Series. In an outstanding 157-3 taking a life's mark was Umbro Affair. Making the winner circle trophy presentation, Mr. H. Barry Hewson, the director of racing for the Standard Bread Division of Woodbine Entertainment at Woodbine and Mohawk to the connections of Armbro Affair. Stand by in just a few moments. We'll go live into the winner's circle where our Ken Middleton is standing by with winning driver, Steve Condren. Steve Condren back in action after a night away from the races last night. Uh, quickly talk about that. Uh, understandably, some back problems fired up on you, Steve? Uh, actually, it's uh, an occurring rib injury. It happened yeah. uh, last fall, and uh, I had one attack before. Where I was pretty bad, but it was lucky in the wintertime there. We had two days to recoup. Uh, started Sunday afternoon. It was just so bad I couldn't even put my socks on last night. But I made the attempt to try to get here. I just couldn't sit in the cart, so I called it off for myself last night. Word on the street is they're thinking of renaming this series from the Sealy's Council series to the Steve Condren series. Uh, sweeping through all the legs with two good fillies. Uh, what made your decision earlier in the week to go with this filly as opposed to the other one? Well, it was a tough decision. Uh, Kevin kind of thought that I'd uh, lean towards Bob's filly before he had to enter. And so uh, I think she acted too well tonight, but... Uh, with the other filly being in there and being as dominant as this filly, I thought, well, you know, I better maybe make my way to the front. And if she comes first door, I never would have got out probably, which would have made all the difference in the world. Um, like I say, I mean, they're both really nice fillies, and I just kind of lucked out into a better trip, I think. It's the first time the filly was ever really challenged. How did she handle the challenge? Yeah, she showed her grit tonight. Uh, you know, she's hard on herself leaving. And, uh, you know, I raced Trevor the third quarter in 29-1. She still had enough to come home in 29 in a piece, too. So showed her grit. Um, you know, I... First time I've really kind of finished, you know, not in not in tow at the wire with her. 
Congratulations on the win. Great, thank you. Back-to-back -back stake wins here on our circuit for conditioner Bob McIntosh last night in the Pace and the Princess and here tonight in the Trot in the Sealy's Council with a Philly Armbrough Affair. Tight show photograph from tonight's third race and here's the details.